the role of a designer is to actually look and to question. So that's where sort of inspiration comes from, is by just observing you know, our, our manufactured, our material environment and observing what we do and what we perhaps could do and what we might want to do. Well, I do get a bit cross when I think things don't work very well. I think the biggest inspiration comes from just being in the world and having your eyes open and truly seeing and asking those big questions, you know, asking why, why does it have to be this way? You have to be a little bit stubborn, but thinking, I truly believe that there's, there's another way we could do this. I love drawing and making, making things. So um, I didn't really know what that was called. It was later on that I realized that was called design. But I used to take things to bits a lot. Yeah. Um, and eventually I, could, I managed to figure out how to put them back together again. But taking stuff to pieces, you learn a lot about you know, what's behind the outside. It's about the importance of being curious and inquisitive and the importance of not just accepting things at face value, you know, just, just to, to be asking those questions of that, but why? What, why, why is it like this? What if there was a completely different approach to, to solving this problem? What could you then do?